Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I bought my favorite friend. Who? What's your name? Damien. Damien. He's, he's hey, hey you. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're taking a tour over here in a new community in the northwest part of the valley called Talis by KB Homes. And it just opened up three months ago and they have been selling. Shame on me for getting this video out to you late. I did not know that this neighborhood existed. It's over here in the northwest part of the valley off of Kyle Canyon Road. And in this community, they have the landings and the reserves. Each of those have six different floor plans to choose from. So you have a total of 12 different floor plans. Five are modeled. And they do have some single story homes in the reserves collection. So today we're taking a tour of um, plan 1590 and look at this elevation I really 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 love this elevation they only have two different elevations to choose from and an elevation means the different roof lines so this one has a different elevation that one's that more square this one's mid more mid-century modern okay so this floor plan the 1590 has three bedrooms two and a half baths and a two-car garage and the base price is 374 990 very nice base price that does not include your lot premium or upgrades the HOA is only $65 a month and there are no SIDS or lids this will be a gated community and they will have a gated uh, they will have a park nice thing also they have 231 lots so they do have three move-in ready homes to purchase so that's also good I think I walked in and I missed something a nice half bath right as you walk in the front. Okay, so this is two stories. I like this. They all kind of look the same, but this kitchen is a little different layout. I don't know if I've ever seen this floor plan before. So this is interesting. They went with the darker cabinets and the cheaper granite countertops um, and it looks like this is a cheaper appliance package so that's probably the garage Gosh. door let me see it's locked and then this is probably your pantry okay decent size mm -hmm. right alrighty and then it looks like they went with the 12 by 12 these are probably so this model is probably showing you what the generic floors look like what the generic countertops look like and what the generic cabinets look like when you buy in this community. This is what it looks like to me. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. <laughs> now, when you buy new construction and you build from ground up, watch your step. You're gonna have to pick your lot, okay? So each lot is different in size. And with that lot is a premium. The bigger the lot, pre the bigger the lot, the bigger the premium. And the location, if it's a corner lot or whatever, the premium goes up. So those premiums will vary. Then you're gonna pick, when you go under contract and you picked your lot, you're gonna go pick your structural options. And the structural options are various things like maybe adding a patio cover over here in the back, adding a barbecue stub, adding an extra garage door to the side of the garage, those items. Then a week or two, you're going to the design center and you're gonna pick out your upgrades. And those upgrades include flooring, countertops, cabinets, and then you can also have an appliance package and you're gonna have an electrical package where you can pick to have extra can lighting, recessed lighting, or pendant lights, pre-wire for a ceiling fan, doesn't look like they did this here, etc. Now, when you pick your upgrades, the most important one to me, as you can see, this is builder grade, it looks fine. But for me, I would upgrade and spend my money. If I had to upgrade one thing, it would be flooring. Because what happens is, this whole house comes carpeted with the exception of the wet areas, your laundry, your bathrooms and your kitchen and your entryway. Everything else is carpeted, the stairs, upstairs, bedrooms, everything. 
If it were me, I would spend my money on the flooring. And if I had a budget, then I would make sure that at least the lower level had upgraded flooring, like a LVB, LVP or an engineered hardwood or a nicer tile. Then I would make sure that my stairs didn't have carpeting and then I would have all upstairs carpeted. But if it were me, I would just make sure that the same flooring throughout was in the entire house or at least the bedrooms had carpet. Everywhere else would be the new upgraded flooring. It's worth the investment because I'm getting estimates from flooring people and granted my house is a lot bigger. It's a lot more money to do it after the fact. They say to do it, you know, buy the cheap stuff that the builder provides and then tear it out and have someone else come and do it. I don't recommend that personally, especially since I'm going through that right now. So as you walk up the stairs, you have a little um, loft area. You have a decent size laundry room with your smart panel. And then this is only one sink, but I would imagine you have an option, which would be part of your structural option, to make this a double sink. And it looks like they went with the builder grade quartz countertops and the builder grade tub shower insert and the builder grade floors. Cute little room. good size walk-in closet. They do have three move-in ready homes here. So if you're thinking about buying a home, you can always reach out to me. Cute. I like that both of these bedrooms have a walk-in closet. I think this is a perfect starter home for a family of two kids. It's a good size primary bedroom. So here you just have the generic tub shower insert. So again, I think this floor plan is showing you what you can get out the door um, if you went with all the options that KB come that comes with the house for KB. And then you have the good size primary closet. Not bad. I mean, this house feels pretty good. This is, again, to summarize, plan 1590 with 1590 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two car garage. Base price starting at 374,990. For the size of this house, I think it feels very good. It doesn't feel like it's 1500 square feet, it feels a lot bigger. If you're thinking about buying new construction here in Vegas, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. Oops, sorry, hi. Alrighty, I didn't wanna talk while people were in there. <laughs> but make sure, most importantly, you what, Damien? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to my channel. I try to post relevant content and model homes in the Northwest and Summerlin areas. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Have a good one, folks.